So you're actually able to use AI to create 3D models, but how is it for creating actual products? Today, we're gonna test that. We're both gonna get design a desk organizer set, and I get to use CAD, and I have to design with AI. And we're gonna see how it works. We have 30 minutes, we only get to use the tools available to us, and we're gonna see how far we can get and how good of an item we can get made that could actually be printed and sold. Okay, so I'm gonna do a pencil cup, a cable organizer, and I'm gonna go for like really geometric shapes where I'll have a USB organizer in the middle with little humps right here that will catch all the cables. And then on the right side, I'll do some sort of pencil cup that meshes with that. And on the left side, phone stand slash charger. Again, I'm gonna do this as I am. I'm gonna go ahead and pop open my stuff and just go here. All right, so it's my job to use AI to design something here. So I'm gonna go to an AI called Supercraft. I wanna do like a phone charger or something like that, but I don't think I'll have time. I'm gonna start with a pencil cup. We're just gonna start with a pencil cup, but I'm imagining if I'm gonna do an organic shape, then it's gonna be some kind of creature. So that's probably not good for somebody with like an office. So it's probably better if I kind of like tailor it towards kids. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take inspiration from like this little walker dude and see if I can make a monster that is printable. <laughs> We're, we're shooting in the breeze here. I'm gonna do this pyramidal, pyramidal kind of style. Um, so we'll go ahead and do 25, just like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this into a pyramid at the top. Uh, it'll be like a little mountain range, maybe. We'll see. A monster that looks like an inverted triangle. Scales all around, closed mouth, because there'll be teeth in there, they'll jack it all up. A lot of eyes. That's what will make him a monster. And let's see what the AI does with that. I don't have time to like double check the dimensions on this. Uh, so this is gonna be a little bit cattywampus, but it will work. Okay, let's extrude that. Minus 100, there we go, cool. So you can see like the little organizer starting to take shape just like so. I'm gonna go ahead and pattern that. I'm eyeballing it, I gotta eyeball it. I just gotta go. That's not bad. Ooh, that's not bad. The mouth is open. Um, I'm gonna go for 3D. I'm gonna go right from that, just right off the bat. I'm gonna go for high quality, even though that's probably gonna kill like my credits. <laughs> if not, I have a backup. Um, and let's just go. I'm at 27 minutes, we got time. Got the cable organizer done. Now I have to figure out how this is gonna interface with the pencil cup. I should have been running that in the background, but I was distracted. So, new design. Um, I'm gonna stick with the triangles theme. Mountains. The pencil cup can't like angle up like this because it'd look weird if I did that. So, I got this right here. I'm trying to see. I'm just like form exploring right now. I don't want to go square, square is too easy. I'm going to just do the charger. I'm going to try to do, let's start with a phone stand. If I have time, I'll turn it into a charger. Oh my gosh. That looks good as a game asset. I don't know what it will be as a printable model. I can pop this up in 3D Builder to see what it looks like. We're going to do a cleanup on it. I'm gonna save this now as an STL because I wanna know what the actual mesh looks like. There it is printed. I'm not disgusted. I'm not disgusted with that. Dimensions, dimensions, dimensions. I don't have calipers up here, damn it. Uh, no, this is drama, don't help me. <laughs> I'm cheating, somebody brought me calipers, I don't care. 70, okay, so we need to go 80 on this. Okay, so how do I wanna move this around? Oh yeah, I'll do flush on the back and I'll have them interface on back panels. That way you also can't see like the connection point. Okay, this, okay, I got, a, I got a theme now. So this is the actual mesh that I'm working with. This is all right, this is something we can work with. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna insert, I'm, I'm not using CAD, 3D Builder's not CAD. So I'm, I'm allowed, it's fine, I suppose. I don't know. Right there is pretty good. He's kind of seated into it kind of deep. I'm okay with that. Okay, so we'll do that, and then we'll insert another cylinder. This is a little bit catty, this feels a little bit catty, but I could generate that cylinder with ChatGBT to the size that I wanted, so that's allowable. I'm saying it's allowable. Yeah, okay, here we go. Slant chamfer up here. And, wait, does that work? Does that do what I want it to? I think that'll do what I want it to. And then I'm just gonna 
This is really bad form. Don't copy me. I know. I get it. Down in the comments is what it is. This is a quick, easy way to get that lip down at the bottom. And if I can, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna just kind of mark out where I want the charger to be. I don't know what the dimensions of the charger are either. So I'm gonna use this as like a centering hole. And then I can get a negative that I will drop into this to create a charger of that. So that is the phone charger, cable organizer on the middle. Okay, the pencil cup. Ooh, I may have made this all too big already. I thought I needed to scale it up. I probably need to scale it down, but this is gonna be my first pencil cup. I don't want it to be too big. Again, this is for a kid, so I'm gonna just go right there, just like that, edit, and we'll subtract that. Pencil cup! That looks pretty sick. I'm fairly pleased with that, but I'm gonna go to backflip just to show one of the other options that we have. Uh, backflip's another AI generator, so let's see here. Uh, another monster. I'm gonna do the pencil cup differently. I'm not gonna have it just be a straight block. I'm gonna extend the cable or, <gasps> oh! I got a way better idea. Uh, I'm gonna do a whole new design and charger will be what it's gonna be, but I'm gonna do this because this is a way better design. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you what I'm doing right now because this is this way too awesome. That one has four legs and an eyeball. I think it'll work. That one, this I would use this one. I like this one, but the legs are too tall and I don't think I'd be able to crop. Nope, I want that one. I got a fix for these legs. And I think that's a simple enough shape that it'll actually come out clean and the eyeball might actually look good and it's got a wart and some simple other ones on there. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how that lands. Ah, oh, this is gonna be so good. Because what I always hate about these pencil cups is that all the cups, the pencils end up in the back and I want them all in a row for me. So I am gonna create this thin pencil cup that allows me to have little sections for the type of pencils and things that I want. That seems like about one quarter. Yeah, I know, again, I'm not dimensioning this, don't have time. Might hurt me, we'll see. Oh, oh no, that'll clean up. It might even stand, might even stand. Those look pretty good. It's full one minute to refine the details. Actually, while I'm messing with the gargoyle, I'm gonna turn this guy into a freaking sick phone stand. Just like that. That's a lot of phone coverage, but I'm gonna live with it. Edit, subtract that. There we are, phone stand, done. Not a great phone stand, um, but a phone stand nonetheless. Shoot. No, I'm redimensioning and I didn't constrain my designs. I, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, I can, do it. I can, do it. I can fix this. I can fix this. Why oh, can't I fix this? Okay, hang on. I have a faster fix for the thing that I screwed myself with. I'm gonna take that cutout only down to the minus 60. That was not far enough. Pattern this. Yeah, what's happening? Why is my spacing not working? And now going back to my monster generation. Oh my gosh, he's got a phone stand slot right up there, which I have no idea why it exists unless they like spy on us. But <laughs> I'm gonna go for straight sphere and just do a cut myself. By the way, small note on this, the feet actually look like they're flush on the ground to where he might actually sit on a build plate correctly. And I wasn't expecting that. I really wasn't. Uh, let's download this. Uh, I'm gonna call it Mike, because inadvertently I created a particular monster from a particular movie. <laughs> and I'm not gonna print it in green, but um, I'm gonna call him Mike anyway. Want, there we go, okay. And now, the magic for how I'm gonna fix the fact that I made it too short. I'm gonna extrude that face. <laughs> 20 more, and now we're good. So now, yes, this is a plate that will slot down right there on front, in front, and we'll have the organizers through the bottom there, and on the top will be pencils and several little rows, which is all nice. This won't be interacted with a lot, so I didn't want like stuff on the back of it, but now that it's there, I'm gonna put a phone charger off the side of this and the phone's charger can be the stabilizing feature of this thing. Okay, so we have him right here. I'm gonna use an interesting feature of 3D Builder, which I can go to object and I can hit settle and he'll land flat on the build plate. But what I'm going to do, I'm gonna turn this into a charger like that. 
On uh, Teleport and Slant Pod, we have this charger negative, and it will cut out the charger slot and a flat for the phone itself. Just like this. Phone charger slot on the side of the monster's head. Uh, some cleanup, that's not good. So ultimately what we're learning is that, yeah, you can use the AI, but you're gonna need to do some cleanup. Just like this. Okay, we got a monster, phone mounted on the side of his head. That almost looks good. Okay, there's my stand for my phone. And then I'm gonna do a big old giant slot down the middle of it. When your phone is not on this, it's gonna be ugly as sin, but that's okay. Right here, this is the slot for the MagSafe yeah. or the USB charger. There we are, that's finished up. Okay, so I have a pencil cup with multiple channels across the top, phone charger right there. This is a nice little organizer piece. Okay, um, I'm sending this. Boy, that's what a that roller coaster. So AI problem, uh, you might wanna see this, Chris. The um, slicing and it's the wrong size because I exported it the wrong size and never like double checked. So I need to pull this back in the 3D Builder generally, but I'm gonna, again, kind of cheat and just resize this and eyeball it because I don't have time and we'll uh, land it where it lands. Um, I have to slice it. And this is when I find out that I made it the wrong size. Oh yes, right there, eyeballing it. Support might generate inside of there. I don't like that very much, but I'm willing to live with this. So I'm gonna send this there. File done, sliced with standard settings, finished up. We're gonna save this as a full STL and I'm gonna hope it doesn't have any errors. I'm gonna try to upload the mesh to see if I can just get away with it. Oh my gosh, that fits perfect. Here we go. Uh, so we've got a charger and a pencil cup and a phone stand of several different monsters. They're contrasted with each other. Um, anyhow, we'll, we'll see how it goes here at judging of which one comes out the best. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, so I finally got the prints back. Everything dimensionally works pretty darn well. I can shove my cables through through there and they'll all be held and retained. Obviously you have all the, the pencil cups up on top. If I was to redo this, I, I left this closed because when a phone is put in the top there, then you have it clash with the pencils. But I think I might actually just turn that into a cup. Um, but they work really well. Uh, the front, front phone case is all good. This one's not mag safe. Um, if you were like selling this on teleport, you could include the MagSafe charger so that a person could stick that together there. But overall, like it is there and it is functional and it'll do what I want it to do. So for a really rushed job, it turned out pretty darn well. I'm, uh, I'm reasonably happy with this. All right, so my prints, both those, um, pencil cup, Sized out pretty well. I, I eyeballed that pretty decently. He looks decent. Nothing weird with the supports or anything like that. All the detail came out pretty well. There weren't really any teeth on the inside, but his mouth came out looking really clean. Um, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. This one, I didn't know if the slot was gonna be big enough for a phone, um, but we'll see. Oh, that works pretty darn well. Um, and again, same model, so support was fine. But now let's go ahead and look at the round guy. And this is the moment of truth. The eyeball and the smile, not bad. Um, the charger up there, I haven't pushed it fully in because I don't want to commit to this quite yet. Um, but the big question is, will it stand up when a phone is put on it? So we'll go ahead like this. How? Oh, that's going to work. Oh, that's sick. I got the angle just right. Even though he's a little bit lopsided, it works all right. So yeah, the the charger worked. That came out way better than I thought it did. If he fell over, this was probably an obvious failure. But like right now, that's actually, this is a thing. Like a little refinement of the bottom down there, and this would be a thing that you could sell to Gladys in the office um, to charge her phone when she's doing whatever she's doing. So guys, comment down below which models you thought were actually the best. So going through this, it was really interesting because uh, I kind of knew going into it that AI had limitations around having actual intentionality around it, but that's kind of easy to work around with. If you have some tooling around, like something to crop out a slot or a hole or whatever it was, and you have like pre-built STLs, then it's fairly easy to take a, an AI generated model and turn it into something that's useful or practical in some sort of a way. Um, and if you're careful and you are guessing around and can iterate through it a few times, you can end up with something pretty darn good. And bluntly, 
I was able to create three products in the time that it took CAD to create one. But the CAD, the benefit it has is the fact that I just had very tight control. There's no way you are gonna create this in the current versions of AI. So if you want really tight control and tight dimensional control, you have to use CAD. But if you know nothing about CAD and you're wanting to start 3D products and like selling stuff on teleport and including chargers and that kind of thing, AI is actually a really viable way to quickly create a bunch of different products get them out the door and see what people are interested in. I mean, this is not a bad turnout at all. There was no clear like loser in this. So once again, comment down below if you, there was one winner that you saw or other things you've seen with AI modeling and doing the rest of this kind of stuff. We wanna do more of these videos into the future. So let us know if there's other types of products that you'd like to have this AI versus engineer uh, video done with. Have a great day, everybody.